Hello there. Welcome back to another episode of Rule the Waves 2 as Great Britain. The year is 1915, and we are currently at war with France and or Japan. Uh, our last episode, things did not go very well for the battlecruiser fleet. We lost one and uh, took fairly significant damage on others. So hopefully we can turn that around in this episode. Uh, meanwhile, France is blockaded, and we are slowly advancing on the Asian theater. But right now, it is time to lay down some more destroyers. So I'm going to get that started. Actually, my bad, it's not time for more destroyers. It was time for cruisers. Specifically, our fancy new Conquest class cruisers. So we're going to order two of those things. We'll get the process started on those. We'll double check things on the, the uh, front. All right. Looks good to me. And let's move on to our next turn. All right, here we have a convoy attack against Japan. Medium size. Probably going to have some battle cruiser action in there. All right, let's see. Oh, no, no. Looks like we're on the attack, and we have transports to sink. Off the coast of Formosa. All right, let's see what we can find. All right, hopefully this is the convoy. Well, time to see how well these Stour class do against modern opponents. And I will bet that that is our convoy. Nope, that is all enemy destroyers. Well, we know they're out here somewhere. It's just a matter of running them down. And just to help, here comes a sunrise. There's the rest of those destroyers. I still have no idea where the rest of the fleet is. There it is. All right. Our goal is to get in there, sink our transports, and get back out. I'm not too worried about trying to pick off Japanese destroyers right now. Once we've accomplished our mission and confirmed it, then we can worry about getting kills. Well, thank you, Nemesis, for spotting that submarine. Now, could you please come over here and sink these transports? What the? No. 
Nemesis, what were you hit by? Alright. This is absurd. I'm taking control of this other squadron. I will not stand about while my command is shot out from under me. All right. Come on. Well, this certainly isn't going well. Let's see if we can at least get the mission accomplished. This is going to cost me my entire destroyer force in Asia. Well, I do believe that this battle is lost. Hopefully I can at least salvage some points from it by finishing off these transports. All right, objective accomplished, time to get out of here. Let's see, what are we facing even? These Sagiri class are just rocking four four inch guns. Why are they outperforming me so much? Oh hey, at least we got one ship back, so that's three ships escaping out of seven. Not the best result in the world, but better than nothing. I think we'll have to send some of those modern Red Mile class out. Yeah, that was a disaster. We sank two of theirs in exchange for three of ours. What? Sinking the six transports was only worth 800 points? No wonder why they won. And we were facing up against 13 destroyers with six of our own. Yeah, that would do it. Even with the better firepower that my destroyers pack, it's not enough to turn that around. 
Alright, enemy is still trying for a negotiated peace. I don't think so. We can crush them completely. Alright, and here we go. Reliable power training and evolution. We can now put small caliber guns, 6 inch and such, in twin turrets with only a small rate of fire penalty. Please note that only reduces rate of fire penalty, does not eliminate it. Ooh, and here we have an efficient hull form reducing engine horsepower requirements. And the medium range submarine? Wow. Hmm. Impressive. Alright, we need to get some replacement destroyers overseas. Alright, we're going to take another six Stour class and send those overseas. There we go. And we will send those to Southeast Asia. Speaking of which, how are the force dispositions in Southeast Asia? Yeah, Japan is still trying to challenge us down there. What we need is a proper large action. Take out the remaining large tonnage ships. All right. We've got replacement destroyers heading overseas. All right, time to move on. Huh, interesting. Battle damage during a breakout attempt. I've never seen this event before. And the cruiser Cambrian intercepts a French raider running the blockade. Well, last time I auto-resolved, things did not go well, so I think I'm going to fight this. Oh, interesting. We've got two ships, the Minerva and the Cambrian. Hermione class and Flora class. Ooh. Well, we'll see what this is. All right, let's accelerate to full speed, see if we can engage this thing. Oh, hold on, that's a heavy cruiser. Guadon. Ooh, yeah, I don't want to engage that. I cannot punch that armor, so we are not going to contest it. Let's see. How fast is the Guadon class? Let's see. 21 knots. Okay, so they can match my cruisers. Ugh, and we've got all day to run. Not so good. We'll turn over this way and see if we can disengage. And spit out a little bit of smoke. All right, and I think we have broken contact. Yep, successfully broke contact. Not the best 
but I'd rather have a draw than lose two cruisers. Alright, and all this time we are maintaining the blockade on France, so hopefully France collapses pretty hard. Alright, and one of our ships, the Dreadnought, got hit by a mine, but hey, it survived, so good job team. All right, next turn, we've got a cruiser battle in southern France. Well, this is a chance to get our uh, proto-battlecruiser in action. And the French declines. Whoops. New docks completed. Time to build more docks. Hmm. For some reason, they keep on building these very sad-looking cruisers with very few guns. Hmm. Exciting new research area, shipboard aircraft operation. That's strange. Why would anyone want to put one of those fragile kites on board a ship? Hmm does not seem like a very effective use of my finances. We'll keep that low. All right, research still looks good. We need to build more docks. Time to build some nice big docks. Construction is looking good. All right, well, not a whole lot else left to it. Let's move on to our next turn. Here we go, convoy attack, another medium fight. I hope this one actually involves battle cruisers. If this is another destroyer fight, I'll be very disappointed. There we go, battle cruisers. That's what we need. All right, and we have stuff spotted. Let's go. Okay, let's change this around. My cruisers are in direct support. My destroyers are in screen. Okay. And then these destroyers are supporting the cruisers. Looks good to me. And we shall host the flotilla attack, so hopefully these guys get in the fight. And there are cruisers. Light cruisers. Sounds good to me. I'm going to tell these guys to hold fire until they're a little bit closer. Let's see. Itsukushima class. 29 knots. Yeah, we're going to have a hard time getting closer unless they want to, which hopefully they do. I wonder if those are battle cruisers. Yep, there they are. That's what we're looking for. Congo class, let's see. Yep, that's the sort of thing we want to take on. All right, that's a good match. We'll try and get in on this fight. Oh no, it's sunset already. Poor timing. All right, we're just going to have to get in there. All 
All right, and in the interest of accomplishing the mission, we'll send our cruisers over that way. What is going on? Indefatigable, why are you running so slow? Oh, you had a saltwater enters feed tanks from a six inch hit. That's embarrassing. And the indefatigable is on fire. This is not going well. Reduce speed. Get those fires under control, fellows. We need to sink them, not get sunk in return. Well, there goes the Nereid. That is unfortunate for her. She survived the last fight, but I guess not this one. Oh no, indefatigable, hit by two torpedoes. Oh, that's not good. Disengage, reduce speed, how bad is it? Oh, that's bad, she's lost. Why are you guys shooting dis torpedoes at destroyers? Man, there seems to be something wrong with my bloody captains today. They have no clue what they're doing. Alright, that is one battle cruiser disabled. Now let's see if we can get the other one. Yep, that is one battle cruiser sunk. And I know the other one's around here somewhere. Come on, fellows. Where is he? Yep, indefatigable is lost. That is official. And we have no idea where the enemy's battlecruiser is. That is quite frustrating. How dare she get away when she already took torpedoes. And we haven't even found the convoy. Man, this force is shedding destroyers like nothing else. Alright, well at least we did sink both Japanese battlecruisers, so that's something. But still, ow! Well, I would explain why we didn't find them. I was already sunk. Alright, well, not ideal, but it'll have to do. Oh, 
interesting. Rodney is easily surpassing her design speed. Outstanding! Yay! Japanese invasion of Hong Kong has been defeated. Well, that's good. Alright, so at least that's something. And those are the new Hercules class ships. Oh yeah, look at those things. I cannot wait to see those things in action. Here's hoping it actually happens sometime soon. And then we have one more coming out. Also, I think it is time to build a couple more of these Conquest class. We'll drop a couple of those. We need some more Red Pole class destroyers. So we'll drop another six of those. All right, and that's going pretty well. And I think we should at least look into the possibility of a new battle cruiser. This time a large capital ship. All right, here we go. 16 inch guns, doubles over triples. Not bad, not bad. Actually, nope, very bad. Do not want short range. That is completely contrary to the purpose of a battle cruiser. All right, and we will put these in twin turrets. All right, and we have the tonnage. Our little previous ships were 41,000 tons. Let's see if we can bump that up a little bit. Get some better performance here. We'll go up to 30 knots. Yeah, I don't like that general arrangement. Let's see if we can get a better random model. Hmm. Yes. Well, I guess that'll have to work. Range medium, fuel, oil, torpedo defense two, speed 29. Let's redo these turrets. Come on. Hmm. Let's see, we'll put those secondaries back up to where they're supposed to be. Not enough rounds per gun. Okay, overall distribution is looking pretty good. Decent armor belt. Decent deck. Let's see how these guns compare. Oh yeah, not a chance. Let's bump that up some more. I think we'll have to go down to doubles. And 
it looks like we still don't have the weight for it. Oh, that's where it is. Secondary arm, secondary guns. Let's drop that down to splinter protection. There's some weight savings there. Conning tower can be 12 inches. Let's see, what else can we do for weight savings? I've already got the all or nothing armor scheme. No, well, let's see, what else? I could drop down the speed, or I could bump up the displacement. Let's see what happens if I bump up displacement. So if I go to 50,000 tons, whew, that's a proper monster. And in 1916, no less. Well, that'll work. That gives me 213 tons spare. Oh, we definitely do not need torpedoes. All right, what else can I do with this tonnage? We only barely have a band of protection here. I do not like that. A little bit more protection on the turrets because you can never have too much protection for turrets. Oh, that's interesting. Blast effects from main battery turrets R, W, or V will reduce rate of fire for non-casemated secondary guns by 20%. Huh. Well, then I guess we can't go for the V. We'll have to go for an X. So that's interesting. For a long time, that uh, W turret never had any penalties. So it was always the right choice because it was less weight than an X. But this makes more sense. All right. So we've got a nice looking ship here. Plenty of displacement. We can throw a little bit of extra tonnage into No, that doesn't seem worth it. We'll stick with uh, 16 secondaries and we'll just pour the rest into tertiaries. That way we can use it for other stuff later on. There we go. Twins over twins, 16 inch. That seems pretty good to me. Hmm. I do think, however, that we could use a slightly different shaped superstructure. So let's actually redraw that. All right, so that's the main superstructure level. And we've got that. All right, that's the one that we want to redraw. All right, so we want a block from there, back that way, we'll go down here, nice straight line there, we'll bring it in a little bit, all the way back here, and there we go, fancy new superstructure there. And then let's see, this one, I think we can make a little bit bigger. Eh, no, 
Actually, I think that's pretty good as is. All right, and we need a name for this ship. All right, I'm back, having just talked with the Parliament about the naming conventions for battle cruisers. They remarked that its budget requirements were inconsiderable. I replied that the effect on the enemy would be inconsiderable, so that's what we're going to call this ship. The Inconsiderable Class Battle Cruiser. And there we go. Minor reduction in secondary gun rate of fire, but I think that is well worth it to carry eight 16-inch guns to 30 knots. So we're going to start development and see where that goes. All right, uh, let's move on to our next turn. And we're intercepting a French raider in the South American East Coast. Hmm. I'd rather see if I can get into some other fights, so I'm going to auto-resolve this. Oh, we got him! Ha-ha! The revenge is commissioned. And four destroyers are commissioned as well. And we are still getting improvements in technology. Enemy fleas dumb. Enemy fleets dominate the seas around Singapore. Lose 100 VPs. Invasion of Formosa delayed due to insufficient force superiority. How are they dominating the seas around Hong Kong? That is very annoying. Let's see, what kind of forces do we have here? Can I afford to send ships overseas? Yeah, I'm going to have to. All right, let's send another Dreadnought over. Now that we've got our Hercules class out. Because I do want this invasion to go off. So we'll send the Caesar around to Southeast Asia. And that'll get the entire Dreadnought class there. And we're down to a single battle cruiser in the Southeast Asian area, but that's okay. The Japan still has three battle cruisers and one dreadnought, but if we're able to kick off this invasion, I think it'll be worth it. All right, let's go. Small engagement around Formosa. Hmm. Not great, but let's go for it. And they call this a small engagement, or are my battle cruisers in action? Okay. All right, and it is 6.30, bright and early. We have all day to beat the snot out of whatever we happen to find. Sounds good to me. Let's go get these guys. All right, and there we have an unknown ship spotted. Accelerate. Let's accelerate to flank speed. See what we got. Yep, there's a battle cruiser, all right. Time to get these guys. Hopefully that'll turn things around. Ah, Tsukuba class battle cruiser. Perfect. Just what I wanted to face. All right. Let's turn this way so we can get the wind on our side and open our broadsides. There we go. What the? Hold on. I saw something I did not like there. Ooh, critical hit bridge destroyed. Well, that's not good. All right, how's our hit chance looking? Oh, honestly, not too bad, considering their bridge got knocked out. All right, let's take this guy, put them on support. Hopefully we'll get them in the fight. And a flotilla attack.
All right, that battle cruiser slowed down and hit by multiple torpedoes. All right, outstanding. I think we're gonna make up for this. Now I just have to chase down the enemy destroyers. And there goes another torpedo into them. I think they're up to four or five torpedoes now. Come on, fellows, let's chase these things down. All right, do we want to pick up survivors? Yeah, we'll do it. Sight's an unknown ship. I think that's the transport that we saw earlier. Well, hopefully we can run some of these fellows down. I don't think we're going to catch that last Mochizuki class, but I think we can take down the rest of these. Corner that transport, sink that, turn back for the cruiser. There we go, get a nice close pass in, transport down. There we go, and they're trapped. All right, and there we go. One cruiser, one battle cruiser, and a few destroyers. Not a bad haul for what's supposed to be a small battle. We'll drop down to cruise speed, save our stokers, pick up all them survivors, and reform and head home. Hold on. One of our destroyers is lost and confused. There we go. Now he's back. Okay, that was a very effective offensive patrol off Formosa. Who knows, maybe we'll actually be able to trigger the invasion this time. We'll keep on pushing for that. Let's pick up the game speed and finish this mission. All right, one battle cruiser, three destroyers, and one auxiliary. Let's take a quick look at how we did against that battle cruiser. So here was sunk. Very good log entries. Okay, so I'm seeing some. Six inch high explosive hits, and looks like we were slinging AP at all ranges. Good. All right, we'll wrap that mission up. Major victory, gain one prestige. Call that the Battle of the Pengu Islands. Invasion of Formosa delayed due to uncertain margin of superiority. So it's interesting that this pops up quite a bit. It's not so much regarding the uncertain margin of naval superiority, but invasion force superiority. We might not have enough ground troops to properly take over the island. And that's what they actually mean by uncertain margin of superiority. All right, and enemy raiders are starting to run out of fuel and ammunition and other stuff, so their numbers are starting to drop. So that's very good. All right, let's take a quick look over here. So Japan, it looks like Japan has properly retreated from Southeast Asia and they're heading back to Northeast Asia. So that's good. If we can kick off the invasion in Southeast Asia, we can then move our forces north and start blockading them at home. And that should turn things around very quickly. 
And with the Dreadnought two turns away, they should be joining in quite soon. All right, but we're up to 45 minutes, so I think it's time to call this episode to a close. Hopefully next time we'll be able to get that invasion off in Southeast Asia. Until next time, though, Katori87, signing out.